along the path of self-mastery, there are many common pitfalls that will be best to avoid if you have not already fallen for them yourself. I personally believe that these pitfalls are best expressed in the form of archetypes. Therefore, I'll begin by asking this question. What is a left-hand light worker? There are many, many people who get into the idea of being spiritual or doing spiritual work that come from a paradigm of helping others and bringing light to the world. From ideas such as raising the consciousness of the planet, whatever the hell that means, to things like insisting that people finally wake up as if you could wake them up. Now, from this vast group of people, who are most certainly not the subject of this conversation, let the dead lie with the dead. There are those who stumble upon things like occultism, and more specifically, the left-hand path, then find themselves interested in such. I call these people left-hand light workers. I wouldn't even call these people left-hand path. They're leftish at best. Generally, they love the idea of navigating darkness as a way to balance out their human personality. Quite often, these people are attracted by things such as shadow work, which sounds considerably spooky, or even trying to figure out how to justify some dark flavoring in their ideology to account for the fact that they're emotionally unstable and will turn up on you at any minute. A left-hand light worker is someone who is basically a light worker. They may not call themselves this, but their actions speak for them. They will quite often promote some form of motivation and inspiration and highly value community in the same way that religious people do at church. The furthest people like this will go when it comes to darkness is making a claim that they are spiritual, yet they will turn up and go ham on you. Some of the common tropes that these people use are considerably predictable. They love to talk about their higher or your lower self, which is a new age rendition of the same dichotomy from religion, where you once had God and the devil, now you have my higher and my lower self, which inevitably leaves what your self is as being the same thing it always was. These people seem to have a dedication to making spiritual concepts mundane doing things like making chakras about something in your physical body. They love to talk about auras or practice sun gazing, sit around damaging their eyes. They focus on special breathing techniques, fasting, even eating some type of a supplement to activate your pineal gland. More God body garbage. The directive has always been to go within, but that doesn't mean within cells, molecules, and melanin. People like this are leftish at best. Their depth into any of this spiritual work does not take them beyond humanity or materialism. Yes, they may claim that they are gods or energy beings, but a roach is that. It's not something significant in reality, and ultimately, a Christian could have said the same thing. Everything is energy and vibration. It's the same thing as saying God is love and everything is love. If they ever engage in being unconventional, they only do so in a conventional way. With the left hand path, to be more than leftish, you gotta go all the way. There are no teams. This isn't about linking up with your soul family or your soul tribe. The directive is to go within, not to go together. You cannot wake the dead. You cannot wake up humanity or society or cultures. Let the dead lie with the dead. They are here to do a job, to serve a purpose. With a left-hand path, being balanced in your emotions is a byproduct and not the goal. If you want to reach the depths of the left-hand path, you cannot be lukewarm in terms of your agreements to humanity. Light and dark do not balance each other. Light and shadow, maybe, but the darkness precedes the light. As fast as light may find itself to be, 
wherever it ends up, not only was darkness already there, it was waiting. With the left hand path, the goal here is not for you to be a better human being. Even though balancing your emotions may be a byproduct of some of this work, it is most certainly not the goal. You should be digging down to the roots of those emotions, rolling in them, feeling exactly where the controversy is coming from. Throwing yourself to the depths of those dissonances, that way you can see how it is you're agreeing to them. And not trying to feel like some new spooky Buddha human. Going within is well beyond the bounds and framework of humanity and your human personality. This work is not to give you superhuman powers. Human is the lie. It is a waste of your time to attempt to take up the mantle of darkness, yet still at the same time, attempt to retain parts of being in the light. Let that shit go and actually get to the work. Don't waste your time being lukewarm and leftish at best.